Okay, so it's actually the second day of school, but it's the start of robotics at school for us. Um, and this is room 701. This is where the magic happens. So we'll give you a little tour. So these are our safety glasses. As you can see, they're all still on the rack. Hey, Ernest, can you give me a tour of your workspace? Okay, um, this is my computer. Okay. So this is the drill press in our auto shop. And this is our heavy duty grinder. Um, this is where we destroy Tetrix parts that we might need in the future. It's a door. So this is the plywood box that we built to ship our robot to worlds. This is a water bottle. This is our laser cutter. Um, it can cut acrylic and uh, wood and things like that. It can't cut metal. Sadly, it's only 40 watts. But um, we can use it for uh, making two-dimensional prototypes and that type of thing for our robot. And also business cards. We cut our business cards on there. Computers for CAD and uh, I guess uh, stuff for both the laser cutter and the 3D printer, which is right here. Um, we uh, print a lot of parts on this 3D printer, um, things from uh, GoPro mounts to uh, little hubs for holding um, uh, Omni wheels for tracking uh, motion. And also our first year we printed our uh, ring pickup claw on the 3D printer. Yeah. This is the bandsaw. We use it for cutting sheet metal, uh, primarily uh, for large pieces on our robot. And this is our uh, mill. Uh, it uses uh, mill bits to cut anything from steel to aluminum to plastic. Uh, we've cut um, Delrin slides on this and uh, our um, linear slide system was all milled through this. Okay, so it's just a couple of days before the game is announced. And we've each got some of our own predictions. Uh, I think the game's going to be called Shuffle, and it's going to be sort of based around cards. The cards are going to be laminated pieces of paper. The pieces of paper infrastructure will allow for having writing on the cards. So not only will there be two different colors, like in real cards, there will also be four different suits. Um, the scoring will be done in elevated bins, sort of like Block Party. And also sort of like Block Party, the cards will start on the ground, which is going to be really tricky to pick up. Um, then you're going to want to score into the bins with uh, cards of different colors and suits and sort of go for different things, go for straights and sort of flushes, things like that. I don't have it all ironed out yet, but you just wait for the kickoff. They'll give you all the rules. Okay, so my game prediction is that the game is going to be called Barrel Battle, and the game element is going to be small barrels, probably some sort of plastic, and they're going to be kind of shaped like soda cans, and you're going to have to pick them off of a dispenser on each of the four sides of the arena, and then you're going to have to shoot them into a goal. And I have no idea what the goal is going to look like, but it'll be interesting, and it's not going to look like the one for Hot Shot. So the game is called Downward Facing Dog, and the whole idea of the game is for your robot to strike different yoga positions. And meditate and you get more points for the longer period of time that you can stay still in one spot and i'm not sure exactly how the scoring is going to work yet but um that's the main gist the main element of the game is just silence and serenity